Hello fellow knowledge seekers. This is our first video on this channel. Today, we'll talk about the topic hacking. You must have definitely heard about hacking here or there, mostly about leaking pictures of celebrities or hacking their social media accounts. You must have also seen in various movies wherein the protagonist or the antagonist sits in front of computers and hacks into FBI sites easily just by tapping a few buttons. Is hacking that simple? Let us know a few things about hacking. What is hacking? To put in layman terms, hacking is just finding a way around or opening the locks on certain restriction or blockage. Now, who puts this blockage? It's mostly the owner of the product or software or place in question. So, whatever hacking happens, it happens against the will of the owner. So we can say that hacking is nothing but accessing content or using content that is not meant for free use. If you ask for a definition, we can say hacking is an attempt to exploit a computer system or a private network inside a computer. Simply put, it is the unauthorized access to or control over computer network security systems for some illicit purpose. We can say that hacking is not something new to us. It's been there from when life existed. For example, getting into a farm of mangoes without the knowledge of the farm owner by jumping or cutting the fence is a way of hacking. Another example is hacking a software or a game and accessing it for free instead of buying it. The terminology of hacking is mainly used with respect to technology wherein a person or program finds a loophole in the security and reveals or steals the secrets. How do you hack? Can anyone hack? Hackers are skilled technical experts who have extensive knowledge of how computers, networks and securities work. Even skilled hackers need time and a lot of information to get into someone else's network or PC or a mobile device. They usually have pre-built software which they use as tools to hack through securities in a network. Is hacking good or bad? Hackers in general have a very bad reputation. All we hear is about hackers stealing important secret government data or company secrets or private celebrity pictures or websites and blackmailing the concerned person for favors or money. But this is not always the case. There are hackers who help us in getting in harm from a potential theft of data from us. So let us dig a little deeper. Hackers can be divided into three categories. Black hat hackers, white hat hackers and grey hat hackers. Each type of hacker hacks for a different reason, a cause or both. All have the required skills needed to accomplish their mission. A black hat hacker attempts to gain unauthorized entry into a system or network without any consent for malicious reasons. They try to inflict damage by compromising security systems, altering functions and shutting down systems websites or networks. They often do so to steal or gain access to passwords, financial information and other personal data. White hat hackers on the other hand are deemed to be the good guys working with organizations to strengthen the security of a system or network. They are hired to hack into a system or network for analyzing safety and security or finding any existing loopholes or bugs so that it can be rectified so as to prevent any untoward exploits. White hat hackers are referred to as ethical hackers. Grey hat hackers exploit networks and computer systems in the way that black hats do, but do so without any malicious intent. Usually, grey hat hackers surf the net and hack into computer systems to notify the administrator or the owner that their system, network or website contains any exploitable vulnerabilities so that they must be fixed immediately. Grey hats may also demand fees for correcting the defects. Now, we might assume that only the rich and popular get hacked. We are all prone to hacking if you are not careful enough. There are various methods used by hackers to get access to our computers or mobiles. However, that's a whole new topic which we will cover in our next video. Hope we've brought some answers to your questions on hacking.